Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about physical verification which is one of the most important stages of physical design. We will be discussing how to perform physical verification in lower technology such as 22 nanometer, 16 nanometer and 7 nanometer design. This is the first part of the series of PV videos. So, we will start from the question, what is physical verification? In physical design, after placement and routing stages, we get an output of GDS2 file from PNR tool. This GDS2 file is graphical database system, which is industry standard for exchange, for data exchange of IC layout work. It is a binary file format which represents geometrical shapes which are mainly polygons and it contains text labels and other information related to layout. These GDS2 files are usually the final output of the IC design cycle and it is given to the IC foundries for fabrication. So the physical verification is to check for correctness of layout with respect to layout design rules. Now what is layout design rules? These are set of rules uh, for all metal layers like what will be the spacing, width and other information of the layer and which is provided by silicon foundry. Physical verification contains number of checks of layout design which includes design rule check along with antenna rule checking, layout versus schematic, electrical rule checks, design for manufacturability, manufacturing analysis and scoring mass, pattern matching which, which is PM. All these checks we will discuss in next part of videos but in this video we will give basic information about layout so that it will be easy to understand the PV flow. Before discussing about the layout, let's have a glance on physical verification flow. In PV video series, throughout we will be discussing this flow. As you can see, that the physical verification flow starts from the inputs of GDS file and .pv netlist. These two files are output from PNR tool. All GDS files like unmerged, initial merge and final merge GDS we will be discussing one by one and the PV netlist which is same as gate level netlist but with the additional information of power and ground port and their propagation through the design. Silicon foundries generate a mask as per layout per pattern provided by physical design engineer. They transfer mask pattern to the silicon wafer surf surface and according to that they process the silicon wafer to a physical pattern of each layer of the IC. So let's move on to the layout of the CMOS for basic knowledge of fabrication. We all are familiar about CMOS fabrication steps which are oxidation, photolithography, etching, deposition, iron implantation and annealing. Oxidation process. It is to make silicon dioxide layer on the silicon substrate as SiO2 layer serve as a mask against implant or diffusion of dopant into the silicon. SiO2 layer isolate one device from other. Photolithography process to transfer a desired pattern which is mask on the surface of the silicon. Etching process allows unprotected material from the photo register to be removed. The deposition is the process of laying down a thin film of material on the surface of silicon wafer as poly or metal layer is being deposited on the silicon wafer. This is different from oxidation process as it does not consume the part of the silicon wafer it is being just deposited on the uh, surface of the wafer. Iron implantation 
it is a process of adding impurities like boron phosphorus arsenic which are pentavalent or trivalent impurities to the silicon wafer these impurities are ions which are accelerated towards the wafer with the help of electric field with the help of this process any intrinsic semiconductor like silicon uh, in semiconductor it is being converted into n type or p type silicon but when we add the impurities in the wafer then it breaks the covalent bond of the structure to imp to improve or fix these kind of damages annealing is the process with the help of annealing annealing process whatever uh, the damage is being done by adding the impurities it is being filtered from the silicon wafer these fabrication steps are being used number of times for the fabrication of seamers and for the process of any pattern to be done on the silicon wafer moving on the cmos design cmos is a basic structure which is being used in the semi custom and full custom designs so we are discussing about the layout of the cmos design in this slide we represented the side view of the cmos design and the circuit diagram cmos is complementary metal oxide semiconductor which is containing one nmos and one pmos transistor and it works as an inverter means it will provide the output as the opposite of the input in cmos layout design we have a p type substrate mostly silicon p type substrate is being used because nmos devices are more in the market and the other reason is electron mobility is higher it is approximately double than the hole mobility in p type substrate an anvil is created which is being used to form pmos transistor after the creation of anvil in p type substrate different p type and n type prism are being diffused in anvil and p type substrate respectively it is being diffused to make drain and source resin of the pmos and nmos transistor these resins are heavily doped with impurity that's why these are written as n plus or p plus resins after forming the drain and source resins of the pmos and nmos transistor the gate terminal for both transistor are created the gate terminals for pmos and nmos transistor transistor are created by polylayer deposition these polylayers are covering the sio2 layer surface which is in between drain, drain and source resin of the transistors the sio2 layer in between the drain and source resins of the pmos and nmos transistor is providing isolation between silicon surface and gate terminals of the transistors due to this isolation both nmos and pmos transistors are having very high input resistance and it is making both nmos and pmos transistors as a voltage controlled device because due to high input resistance the input current will be approximately zero so the output will be dependent on the input voltage only after the creation of gate terminal for both transistors metal deposition for uh, source and drain terminals for pmos and nmos transistors are processed with the help of different fabrication steps so this is how the cmos layout design is being created and cmos design is fabricated in the silicon foundry as we have seen in the design we have taken p type substrate and then we have created anvil after that 
P plus and N plus regions are being diffused to form source and drain regions of the P, uh, PMOS and NMOS transistor. After the creation of source and drain resin, gate terminal is being formed with the help of silicon dioxide layer and polylayer deposition. Then metal layer deposition is being done to create drain and source terminals of the PMOS and NMOS transistor. This is one of the fabrication method of CMOS design. The another method is which is being used in lower technology nodes is twin well or twin tub CMOS process. Twin well or twin tub is a process where both type of wells N well and P well are present. N well is being used for PMOS device fabrication and P well is being used for NMOS device fabrication. This process is required when we want to optimize different parameters like threshold voltage, body effect and etc. independently. So far we have discussed the side view of the CMOS layout design. But the physical design engineer deals with the top view of the CMOS layout design. So let's see the top view of the CMOS layout design and try to understand the layout design steps in this view. The first layout design step is drawing N select, N well and P select layer. What are these N select and P select layers? N select and P select layers indicates where to implant the N type and P type impurity atoms respectively. These layers represent a window opening for P plus diffusion or N plus diffusion and N well. If it is a twin well process, then we need to create a P select layer for P well also. As you can see in the figure, N select and P select layers are present and inside that N, N plus diffusion or P plus diffusion is being done. The next layout design step is drawing polylayer as if a polylayer is crossing any P plus or N plus diffusion then it makes PMOS or NMOS transistor by creating source and drain regions. As you can see in the layout that polylayers of the both transistors are connected with each other because in the CMOS circuit the gate terminal of both PMOS and NMOS transistor get the same input. So this is how the polylayer deposition is done in the CMOS fabrication. Now moving on to the next step which is drawing N plus diffusion for NMOS. As you can see in the figure, N, N plus diffusion is drawn in the N select for NMOS transistor. And for the body contact of the N will, N select N plus resin in N will is drawn to avoid the latch up condition in the CMOS design. This N plus diffusion in N well will be connected to the VDD terminal. Now for PMOS devices, P plus diffusion is done in the P select area of the N well for drain and source resin of the PMOS transistor. The last layout design step is drawing metal contact and metal N M1 which connect contacts of the for the physical connection. These metal layer deposition are based on the connection of CMOS design circuit. So basically all the layout design steps create polygons whose information is transferred to the silicon foundry in the form of GDS2 file. Silicon, uh, silicon foundry use these layout patterns to create the mask of the different layers of the design. 
and after mask generation different uh, fabrication steps like oxidation photolithography etching deposition imp iron implant implantation annealing are performed to process the silicon wafer for ic fabrication this was the basic information of physical design layout in our next videos we are going to discuss about different gds files like unmerge initial merge and final merge what information they are containing we will discuss that and as you have seen in the phys uh, pv flow that all the uh, pv checks are been performed uh, on uh, final merge gds what are those and how we are going to do drc lvs erc mass and pm checks uh, in physical verification that we are going to discuss in our next videos